Hello and welcome to the Linking Cube creation video. If at any point during this video you need to, you can pause or rewind the video using the play and pause button located around this area down here in the lower left hand corner. If at any time you need to fast forward or rewind, you can slide the bar across the bottom. And if you have any questions on how to use the video, let me know and I'll be able to help you out. So the first thing we're going to do is start with a new part. But before we do that, you need to be in Autodesk Inventor. So if you're not already using Autodesk Inventor, this is what it looks like right here, the big yellow eye. And so we open up Autodesk Inventor, and we're going to start with a new part. For today, we're going to be making a cube. So when we start our 2D sketch, start 2D sketch, for today it doesn't matter which plane we click on and we're going to be making a cube, which is a square shape. So we come to the rectangle, click the down arrow on the rectangle box, and click two point center rectangle. We click in the center, and then move our mouse out to place our rectangle. Click on the dimensioning tool located in the middle, and click on a line, move your mouse away from the line, and click to place your dimension. It'll then let you dimension and type in what your dimension is. I'm going to punch in .786. Make sure that you're using the dimensions off of your drawing so that you make it correctly. I'm also going to use the same dimension for the top to make sure that it is a square. And now that everything is blue, I'm going to finish the sketch. Once the sketch is finished, use the extrude tool. Again, I'm going to type in the dimension, 0.786. Make sure you're using the dimensions from your drawing. Here you can see there are some options. Right now we're only going one direction, or direction one. We need to set this to symmetric so that the blue line is located in the middle of the cube. Again, set the yellow box to symmetric. You can also use the larger dialog box and again setting the box to symmetric. And you can either hit OK, the green check mark, or the Enter key when you're done. We now have a cube. Next, I'm going to start 2D sketch on the top, and we're going to make the peg. The peg is a circle, so we're going to draw a circle, clicking in the center, moving our mouse out again and clicking. Then we use the dimensioning tool, click on the edge of the circle, move your mouse away, and place the dimension. And for the circle, I am going to use 0.315. Make sure you are using a dimension that you took for the diameter distance across the circle peg. And finish the sketch once you've dimensioned it. Again, we need to extrude to turn this into a solid shape. And I am going to use 0.2 as the height. Make sure you are using the dimension from your drawing and hit OK or Enter to finish. Now you can see I've got the cube but I don't have any of the holes. To start a hole we're going to click Start 2D Sketch and click on one of the sides. Notice how the point is in the center. If your point is not in the center pause the video and ask Mr. Predana for help and I will show you how to do, fix this problem. As long as your point is in the center, we can grab the point tool located up here and click on it and click to place a point inside the center. Then finish the sketch and you can use the hole tool around the outside. Okay, here you can see that we need to not have a hole going all the way through. Your termination distance might be set to through all, but we need to change it to a distance. And the distance, the bottom distance, is going to be how big around your peg is. And for mine, I'm going to use 310, excuse me, the hole, 
I'm going to use 310 for the inside dimension of the hole, the diameter across, and I'm going to use 0.202 for the depth, how deep the hole is. Make sure you are using the depth that you dimensioned and measured on your paper. I'm going to use the flat bottom drill point because I think it looks nice. If you would like to do this as well, the button for that is over here on the left. So I've got the depth set showing how far down it goes, hole depth, and I have the diameter of the hole showing how wide the hole is and hit OK. Now that process that we just did is going to be repeated again. Start sketch, place it, put the point on the point, finish your sketch, and click the hole tool. You can see all of our dimensions are still there so we can hit OK. Here we're going to click the sketch, place the point on the center point, and if you want to use a shortcut you can press the letter H on your keyboard which is the hole tool and it'll bring it right up and you can hit OK. The shortcut S on your keyboard will allow you to sketch and then click the bottom. Still need to place the point on the point and then H for hole and hit OK. Otherwise you can just do it the normal way. Sketch on the side, point on the point, finish your sketch and use the hole tool and hit OK. And now we've created our cube with all the holes all the way around including the bottom and a peg on top. File, save, and make sure we are saving in our H drive. If it says My Documents, click up here, go to the computer, click on the network location, your ID number with the letter H at the end, come find your STEM8 folder, and type in Linking Cube. Or just Cube is fine too. C-U-B-E. And hit Save. That concludes this video. If you have any questions about this video, please raise your hand, ask for Mr. Prudena, and I'll be over to help you out. Enjoy!